Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, this is a little bit of an update of this motor and this circuit. Um, for those of you who haven't seen this motor before, um, it has optical timing, so half here, half there. Uh, we have two circuits, these are MOSFETs. And then the output comes down here, charges the capacitors, and then it'll come through here to show you how much, and then it goes back to the system. Um, so that we get a reduced amperage draw on the motor. Um, I added this bottom coil right here. And I put both the coils in series to get a little bit slower speed and, and um, a little bit more efficiency on it. So now it has um, two coils top and bottom. Um, this is a one inch neodymium magnet. Um, it's just a circular one so it makes a real nice rotor. It's one inch by one inch with a quarter inch shaft in it. Um, this is just my typical fan, 17 inch diameter. And um, yeah, I usually use this Adreno speed control, but um, it couldn't get this motor to slow down enough. So um, this is one I made a while back for some experiments, the hand built pulse width modulator. And um, this one can go much, much lower down than the Adreno can. So. So yeah, we're going to get this fired up and I'm going to show you some things that this could do. So this is the be the lowest setting right here. We're just going to turn this on. And you could hear go from one to the next. So it's just going here, 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 here. Um, this isn't an H bridge, but it but it works similar to it. Um, there's actually three three wires in the coil we have two power coils and then one output coil so there's um, tri failure wound so it's acting like an H bridge but um, without the complicated circuitry and um, so right now you can see we're we're at about 20 20 milliamps recovery right now and we're using 50 milliamps out of the battery so we're just going to slowly turn this up. Let's get up to um, 100 milliamps. So there's 100 milliamps. So you can see this one up. Um, now it's 40, 40 milliamp recovery. So this would be 140 milliamps instead of 100 now just with the energy saving from the output so we're just going to keep bringing this up let's go up to 200 there's two so so right here we're recovering 100 milliamps so that would be 300 milliamps if we didn't have the output recovery and the fan's starting to, to move right along we're going to keep going up. Let's take it up to half an amp. So there's pretty much exactly half an amp right there. And let's see what we're recovering. So, recovering almost 200 milliamps. Um, so, this would be 700 milliamps or almost three quarters of an amp. Um, without the output helping out. So that's starting to save pretty good. So we're going to bring this up to one amp. That's about as close as we can get. So at one amp, we're about 250 milliamp saving right now so that'd be an amp 1.25 amps now without this recovery so it's a pretty good little savings if you don't have another battery to go into or something like that you could just redirect it back to itself and um, save some power um, there is definitely sweet spots on these motors like these low rpms so we're going to bring it up to two amps 
there's about two amps right there so now it's just kind of creeping up we're a little over 300 milliamp savings so now the motors converting from um, producing a lot of uh, excess energy electrically now it's going into more mechanical work so the output is going to start going backwards we bring it up to three amps let's see it start to go backwards here's three amps so we're, uh, we're still pretty good it's 400 milliamp savings but now we're going to crank it up and you'll see see right there so now there's no more pulse width modulator and we're only saving about 100 milliamps but we've got a lot of horsepower and this thing's even trying to slow it down with my fingers a lot of torque so you could just use this type of system to really dial this in so see right as the pulse width comes back we just turn it down just a little bit we already got you know 400 milliamps of recovery So yeah, about one amp is pretty nice. You want just like a nice breeze in your shop in summertime. Uh, one amp, let's see what the RPM. So 780 RPMs. Uh, if you bring it up to two, two's got quite a, quite a bit of wind going on. So two amps, 1000 RPMs, that's Plenty for this big fan to move air. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.